Hi everybody! In this tip video, I will show you how to work wet into wet to establish your base colors to build from. It takes quite a bit of layering of color washes using different techniques, which is why I have prepared a step-by-step -step tutorial that will be available soon on my website. But here I'm going to specifically show you a few wet into wet techniques as well as creating a distinct and dramatic light source to the succulent. As usual, I started with an accurate drawing from a reference photo I had taken. I began by wetting the paper of one petal. Because succulents are slightly more transparent on the outside edges, I paint a pale watery wash of lemon yellow while the area is still wet. I pre-mixed Winsor Newton green-blue shade with leaf green in a watery consistency. I used the tip of my brush using light pressure to move the paint into a smooth transition, building up the darker values with additional pigment. As I continue, I refer back to my reference photo, making sure the values on the outside petals are correct and then I allow them to fully dry before additional washes are applied. The outside petals will be my lightest values and as I work inward, the petals will become darker in value, creating additional contrast, therefore creating a bit more drama to the center of my succulent. I mixed a very pale Winsor Newton Blue green shade and again using the tip of my brush, I feathered in one more color change. Referring back to my reference photo, I want to be sure to keep the lighter edge where the petal is more transparent. By utilizing the tip of my brush, I lift color back out while the petal is wet. Lifting is accomplished when the brush is dry. It should be noted I use clear water and I dab my brush on my towel to soak up any excess water so in essence my brush is almost dry. As you can see, I painted in pale washes of color to the center of the petals. This helps to guide me when establishing my midtones. So next I moved down and started by wetting an outside petal. I added in leaf green in a thicker consistency. At this point, I use the same leaf green paint. I paint another layer while the petal is still wet. Next, using the tip of my brush in a slightly drier consistency, I painted in another layer of a darker value using Windsor blue-green shade and then allowed that layer to fully dry. I then moved to a petal closer to the center and painted a pale wash of leaf green and a small amount of Windsor blue-green shade using a number 8 brush. So then I used the tip of my brush to drop in a bit more of the Windsor blue green shade while the petal is still wet. Again, using the same consistency and color, I continue to build up the midtones and then again adding in more of the same color and consistency while building my turning edges. At this point, the surface is in a semi-matte stage. This term refers to looking at the wet surface as the reflection of light fades as the paper begins to dry. I refer to the three stages of a wet into wet area as shiny, semi-matte, and matte stages. I go into more detail and show you a close-up of each of these stages in my full length tutorial, which will help you determine how much pigment will disperse across the surface of the paper. It should be noted, I'm using Arches 156 pound hot press paper, which has a smooth surface with almost no texture visible. This is my preferred paper. 
I continue using Winsor Newton Blue Green Shade as well as Leaf Green to build up my darkest areas. Now you can see a bit more of the contour of the petal developing. So now I'm painting using a thicker consistency of Windsor Blue Green Shade to create a bit more dramatic contrast. Once again, I refer back to my photograph, making sure my darkest values are correct. I'm using Sap Green and Windsor Blue Green, and I'm starting to build my turning edge. As you can see, I notice the highlight and I lift those areas while the petal is wet and then I allow it to fully dry. So as you can see, I notice that the highlights are necessary to create the illusion of a turning edge. So I lift those areas out while the petal is still wet and then I allow it to fully dry. I then move to the upper petal adding in a slightly thicker wash of Windsor Blue Green. I keep adding washes using the same consistency and continue to build the inside contour of the petal. If you've enjoyed this tip video and would like to see more of my full-length step-by-step tutorials, please visit my website where you can sign up to be notified when my watercolor classes will be available. Thank you for watching, liking, and subscribing.